Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power and I host on Project Phoenix Media. Today's video game tutorial is a really great tutorial. I want to thank RMJ Designs for providing a very special LAN fix using the Smart Steam emulator. And basically the bottom line is we can play LAN with the newest PC game, Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. So how does this work? Go to the more info section, there's a link where you can download this zip file. Take the contents of that zip file and basically extract it. Go into the folder here, extract all the contents of the zip file into your main root directory of Lara Croft and the Temple Osiris game directory. So let's go ahead, drag and drop all this stuff here. Overwrite if you need to, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then once you are done with that, what you could do is just go into the INI file, scroll down to the section where it says um, personal name or persona name, and here you can type your name, I want to say versatile for example. Click on File, click on Save. I also think that if you click on the SSE Launcher, you can also set your name here you know, as well. And then all you got to do is literally start the game. You could do this in real LAN. If you want to, you could also use the Tungle program, and you can coordinate your games with other gamers here and join their game. Once you're inside the game, what you want to do is, if you're hosting, just host your game and continue as normal. Once you go into the Game Options, I'll show you how to make sure that your game is quote-unquote public to the world. And then if you're trying to join someone's game in the main menu, you want to press Shift and Tab. That will force you force your game to auto-join the host. And if you got multiple hosts hosting at the same time, then you got to coordinate, maybe create your own special Tungo lobby and play that way. Or you can also see the more info section. I got the Steamworks method just in case for those who want to use Steam and invite friends that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, start the game, and let's see if there's anyone hosting a game right now. Let's do this. All right, here we are at the main menu of Lorecroft and the Temple of Cyrus. So let's do this. First thing you want to do, of course, is let's go to options here. And just go to gameplay. And here under online section, hosting, just make sure it says everyone. It couldn't hurt. And we should be good to go from there. Click on back. And the next thing you want to do is if you want to host your game, here I am clearly hosting. Go ahead, just continue your game. And then you're good to go from that standpoint. Now, if you want to join someone's game, let's assume your friend is hosting a game right now. So press Shift and Tab. And if there's someone hosting a game right now, it will automatically locate their game, join their game, and you're good to go. But clearly here, I'm pressing Shift and Tab. And I'm a client. And let's try this out. Ooh, cool. It's working, guys. It's fucking working. I didn't know someone was hosting a game. That's awesome. Let's do this. So bottom line is, when you're at the main menu, press Shift and Tab, and you will join someone's game, and uh, you're good to go. To reduce the ping issues, I recommend that you guys use Skype or a voice program and have people join one at a time. If you got, like, four people or three people joining all at the same time, you might get lag issues in the end. So I recommend... Based upon other feedback I got from other gamers, join one person at a time. Alright, sweet, we're in the game. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Laura Croft, how you doing today? So I'm gonna go ahead and run around. You know, you want to type press a T key. Say, you know, let's go, or whatever, you know. Press escape there. Oops, my bad. Just keep on running, 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 running. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys like this type of tutorial, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Otherwise, if you've got any nitpicky questions in the comment here on YouTube, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.